That's what I thought. Let's go. Yeah, get out anytime. What can I do for you, officer? Let's take a look at Jeremy DeWitt. Let's go. I'm telling you, my wife's Taliban, man. She told him to put the true serum in, and she was like, tell me where the rebel base is. They got to figure this guy's got a body cam on himself. So he's recording himself say this dumb shit. All right, so now he's going to make a traffic stop, right? So this guy's a pretend cop. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that guy's doing that shit? Give me a second. Stay there. Stand up. Hi! All right, now what would you say? Guy pulls up. He looks pretty legit. Says Metro State on his windshield. He's got the gear on. He looks like a legit officer, right? Let's see. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? You must have missed that it's 45 through there. And then you use the turning lane to cut through traffic. <laughs> I understand you're in a nice car and everything, but let's be a little nice more mature the way you drive. Let's nice drive car. the right are way you, then. Are you a cop? Don't worry about what I am because oh, no. I'm a state agent. <laughs> oh, wait. This guy's smart. He goes, are you a cop? Because the cop's going to say... Do you know why I pulled you over? And you're going to say no. Say, well, you're doing 55 and 45. Let's keep going. So yeah, well, what you not. need to do is make sure you're doing the right thing, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's right. He's one of those arrogant that are in this guy. Yeah, I want to be entitled. That life. <laughs> yeah. That's real nice. Yeah, I know. Real professional. The way you almost hit me, boy, oh, yeah, is the way it's professional, professional bitch ass. You're not a cop. You want to fight? Yeah, this guy's probably some high end lawyer, right? So he's looking at this guy going, Bro, are you a cop? And he goes, That's none of your business. Now they're getting into it. This guy's got such a chip on his shoulder, Jeremy the faker. Let's keep watching. Don't that? even act like you're fucking stopping me. I didn't stop pull you over. Dick. Did I make a traffic fuck stop off. on you, fuck boy? Fuck off. Yeah. Wow. You're lucky I don't get out and beat. Come on, let's go, bitch. Get out your fucking car. Let's go. Fuck let's go. Off. Come on. Fuck boy. Yeah, I think the guy in the Porsche would take him. We'll get more of Jeremy shortly, but let's keep going. Get out. I'm calling you out, bitch. Come on, follow me, motherfucker. Now he's driving to the Circle K to get oh, his fuel. All right, so we just passed a cop car. Now, what do you think the cop's thinking? Like, who is this guy? I guess he's not breaking the law currently, pulling people over and all that shit. Maybe. I don't know what the rules are with law enforcement. You guys that know, put that in the comments. Let me know. Oh, for stealing. Him. I said I fired other officers for stealing. You want to take my Look at that rig. Look at that rig for a second. He's got all sorts of cop stuff on there. Computer, a light, everything under the sun, this guy. Funny thing before the weird thing is is that you think you know that yeah, yeah. I served as a cop and then okay. I served for 12 years in the US Army okay. as a major. Okay. So first thing for your I service. Did yeah. wrong and so, there was an error okay. because my brother was killed. I went home and got drunk at a bar. So somehow we got the cops called on him. And I did another video with stolen Valor Village idiots because he says he's an army guy too, which is a lie. But let's keep watching. Right. That doesn't change. Oh, not well. Okay. Listen, <laughs> you're not representing your company well right now. Okay. Are you a security officer? No, he's not. You don't need to worry about who security. I am. Are you, are you yeah. clear for that? He owns this. <laughs> are you cleared for that? What the hell is wrong with this guy? Are you cleared for that? This guy is delusional. Now he goes so far with these things. I don't think he's a mental patient. I just think he's a scammer with a very low self-esteem. Are you clear for that? Sure. What's your GS level? Because I know what my military level was. All right, look at him. He's got four service stripes on here. You know, these guys. So he works for a security company. That's what he owns. Or his wife owns it because he can't because he's a felon. And he's got service stripes on like he's, you know, 
in the military or something. My classification. Okay, we don't need to go through Okay, okay. great. Well, you are, are you an officer? No, I'm not, but I work for Customs. CP 3507. Yeah. Are you a federal agent? Okay. I'm a federal, I'm a federal employee. Okay. okay. Step aside. Thank you, ma'am. Look at this guy. He's going to play the charade quite a ways. I mean, he's not quitting this joker. He's going to go down the path, step aside. You know, I, I work for a security company, make 12 bucks an hour. Now, it's his company, and he's such a good faker that if he pushed against you and you were asking, you may go, whoa, this guy's serious business. Uh, Sorry, you can step inside. Actually, oh, you don't need to. So what happens? I'm not even joking right now. What happens if you're walking down the street and like somebody comes running up to you? You know, there's an emergency or whatever. Well, we would help. Do you guys? You better believe I would. We would help. That's still that you have to. Yeah, I, I didn't human nature. So the person with him is a scammer wife, right? So she's part of the scam. She owes the company because he can't because he's a felon. And they've got this security company, right? I didn't serve 14 years in Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah, 14 years. That's why my business exists the way it was. What department did you work at? You said you were a police? I was an Oviedo police officer. Oh, Orlando. Orlando. Wow, yeah, Oviedo. okay. Then I did the Army. I, I was young and dumb, and I wanted action, so I joined the Army, was a ranger, and then I went back. I will agree. He was young and dumb. Hear this guy, he is just the care. He's like, I need units now or else. I'm gonna throw a total BF. Uh, Sergeant, my vehicle's not stolen, Sergeant. I can tell you right now, everything's being videotaped on my body cam, Sergeant. Okay, you're, you're so, a that's not a firearm, this guy's Sergeant. guy's a piece of work. Let's go. That's a less lethal, Sergeant. Okay, so legally, for the per Florida statute, okay. I'm allowed to carry that, Sergeant. Uh, 970, yeah. go ahead and look it up, Sergeant. Oh, I love it, too. Just like the Karen. She's quoting the law now, right? You know, so he can't own the company. His wife does because he's a felon. But yet, you know, he's going to start quoting the law like he's some expert. The vehicle's not stolen, Sergeant. I have the registration for the vehicle, Sergeant. That's because the Honda was stolen and we got the tag back from the Orange County Sheriff's Office and then we registered it to that motorcycle. You know, if you do it right, you don't have a problem. Like I've had expired tags. I've been pulled over back in the day, probably had too much to drink, act like a gentleman, move on. This guy's already got a name for himself. So they're like, let's hook him up. And that motorcycle has that tag. And the Department of Motor Vehicles issued the registration sticker for that tag. Huh? All right. Golly. In the car, dude. You just chill. If it's, a, if it's an issue, oh, no, we'll, we'll figure it out. But you screaming and yelling isn't going to change. Yeah, exactly. Him screaming, yelling, throwing a total childish tantrum is not going to get him out of those handcuffs. Okay. Well, pulling me out, no, putting me in cuffs. When, when, when your car is... When it shows signal 10, right. stolen, right. it's a felony. So that's how it's done. Registration. And I have the registration All on right. my phone, but Just you guys are tight, refusing okay? to listen. Just sit tight. Okay. Yeah, if you got something that's stolen, of course they're going to pull you over. And obviously he's got a history. You know, they're not going to handcuff you if they pull it over and your average Joe and you got just bought the car. It was stolen. They're going to be like, all right, well, let me sort this out. He's like, like a total asshole. So they're like, just get in the cuffs, buddy. Here we go again. Please get your manager because I didn't do anything wrong. It must have been somebody else. Must have been the one arm man, right? You to get a lieutenant. I never resisted you, sir. Officer. Oh, resisting now. I know you see I'm a felon. That's why you're ignoring me. Keep driving. Keep driving. Yeah, so once they hook you up and you're a felon, I think for impersonating a cop before, and they see that, and it's not going to go well. Even if you're the nicest Joe in the world, you get convicted of that. Like, you couldn't plead down to something less because you probably had done this multiple times. It's a BB gun. It's oh. airsoft. So the guy's carrying an airsoft gun, no less. That seems about right, doesn't it? Just go ahead and get shot. 
So what do you guys think of Officer DeWitt, right? You know, he's a real piece of work. He's the stolen Valor Village idiot. The military stuff, he does the fake cop stuff, and he'll probably get out, have another sweetie, start another company. These guys are good at that. I'll see you in the next video.